so hello everyone and namaste so today we have special guest whose name is koteshwar who is pursuing his phd from iisc bangalore yes you heard right i said phd plus iisc bangalore i know both these words are jaw dropping words and he has both these words in his profile so hello koteshwar hi hi nikhil how are you yeah i'm fine how are you i'm fine so uh, may we get a brief introduction about yourself yeah, sure uh, i'm potentially i'm basically from the state of andhra pradesh okay. and i did my bachelor's from iisst shippur it's in west bengal then i csk and joined iisc as a direct phd candidate then before uh, giving it i actually worked in synopsis for 6 uh, months as an intern so using that uh, internship i gained a lot of experience in the industry of vlsi uh, sectors particularly so that was my first time i was actually introduced into it and i had a few more internships but those were in not very much related to the semiconductors a small introduction of mine great so you said you did uh, internship in synopsis for 6 months in your final between uh, final year of your btech yes yes yes, yes. Okay. so you did you uh, means you you did internship of 6 months so what motivated you to switch from uh, such companies to to means take admission in phd because it's a very long course so yeah it's absolutely right whatever you said is completely fine because people uh, going into vlsi uh, it's a dream actually yeah getting one and job in a vlsi is a is particularly a dream for uh, that was also a dream for me i didn't expect that i would be getting into synopsis uh, in before my graduation itself yeah. but uh, i as i was actually working in synopsis i got to know that uh, after a five uh, after one year or two years it's uh, I, as i see that my position would be the same i write, i'll be writing only digital codes and uh, i wasn't uh, placed in very kind of core digital thing i wanted a job which is more uh, related to the core structure either the core an- analog uh, domain or the core digital domain i don't want to code for my whole life thing so that was my only motive of choosing a phd it wasn't that uh, i wanted to do phd initially i worked over there then i wrote gate then i actually when i wrote gate i got a rank which i didn't even expect that i would be getting into iisc my rank was actually 500 so what happened was i didn't even expect that i will be getting in the top iits but what happened was i was i was interviewed by all the top iits and i got the major opportunities by all the top iits and the iisc also and finally after a long time of uh, investigation and asking everyone then i got the chance of uh, doing the phd and uh, there was one major uh, exactly overlap was the mtech ra of iit bombay i got that and i got this also i couldn't at all miss the so finally i was talking with all the professors of iit karakpur iit bombay then i chose iisc for phd okay. so uh, you assume that phd from iisc will beneficial for your future in getting into yes, code, code. Right. because i wanted a uh, core r and d job so, so you want to become a designer or else uh, fabrication you do you want to get into fabrication department so so for now is i wanted to experience everything so i don't have i am not that kind of uh, so experience that i wanted to do in only uh, fabrication or i wanted to do only in i want to experience everything and learn from everything and then stick to one topic and do my research completely on it this you mentioned so my... four departments you have to get into four four side so means what what do you mean by four side of vlsi 
see uh, in each and every department uh, let us consider as uh, computer science or mechanical or civil or anything there are core jobs non core jobs and non related jobs one is a core job that is more domain restricted of whatever you study particularly okay. so if you take electronics uh, it can be telecommunications job or it can be a vlsi stream or it can be any other embedded systems domain also so there are there will be several other streams also which i don't know they will be core and if you take about uh, non core in electronics is particularly non core doesn't mean that it doesn't uh, require the knowledge of electronics everything uh, it requires a knowledge of electronics but not to that level of whatever you study okay. that is coding and uh, if you take uh, any other jobs like uh, sales executives or any other like those so it gets bifurcated like this if you take computer science then software developer that is a most important thing for them and if you take the other domains like uh, a consultant or anything like that that doesn't require a lot of computer science in it it requires a lot of analytical thinking that is also a part of it but that doesn't directly connect to the core structure of the computer science whatever you study in the same manner mechanical also you should uh, the core means particularly over there is that you wanted to work in mechanical systems but if you get into coding then that's completely you get the difference exactly okay. what is so core in, and not core in synopsis you get you got uh, coding profile you get you got yes. into coding profile okay i won't say as coding because uh, my three interviews uh in synopsis when i got selected there were three interviews particularly all the three okay. where of electronics itself and uh, my job was also in electronics itself particularly i wasn't coding in c but i was coding in rtl bash and perl so i was only restricted to my laptop and me in my room as it is work from home and i wasn't able to go over there so that is another uh, negative point that i had okay. to choose or so you parallelly prepared for gate also and you cracked it with a very good rank as you said you got somewhere else it's around 500 and so so how you managed that from means in your fourth fourth year itself you got such a good rank would you like to share I'll tell you one more thing i like to, okay. just before gate exam uh, is that uh, my synopsis written test just before one day just before one day my synopsis written test was there and after 3 days my uh, analog de- analog devices uh, interview was there and uh, i think after 2 uh, or 3 days uh, written test was also there and all happened at a time gate exam analog devices and uh, synopsis and another one small company was there and my placements were also going and i was placed in jio that was the first company and there were few other companies that were coming so i had no idea where ever i go i just so tried you, everything so you had pre- uh, okay so so you had and prepared for gate seriously also see i won't say it as serious but uh, i didn't prepare as first ranker that's what i think Since you and uh, since you haven't joined in any coaching, you prepared by yourself in self study. Yeah, actually, in my third year, I actually thought of joining Medi B. Okay. But what happened is that is uh, COVID came and everything okay. shattered. I couldn't join into anything. And uh, uh, particularly, I over there, uh, uh, I paid the fees also. Then I. i did two courses one was electromagnetism and communication that's it over covid came and everything started and i had to prepare on my own. and that time what happened was medici wasn't providing online content but the gate exam didn't yeah. stop so i had to prepare on my own so then i started researching about uh, on youtube and came across awesome videos by bezar razavi and several other things and nptel helped me youtube helped me a lot so that's how i actually managed all this the only thing is that i prioritized whenever there was a placement scenario i prioritized over it if i get any free time i started doing the gate and in the in, in between i used to do assignments uh, for my btech 
so in the in the mean time i was also preparing for uh, vlsi of uh, in the coding domain in vlsi also there are different different domains one is a coding domain and the other is a particularly whatever uh, the uh, what type of i should say in designing domain what this two there is a slight difference between these two parts of uh, screens between one is a coding domain and the other is uh, particularly the designing domain in coding domain you will be having only idea about uh, there are there are certain kind of topics those are related with computer science like uh, if you talk about computer architecture and systems these all requires electronics but they are implemented by coding and in designing if you start coming into picture you will be having a lot of uh, very log vhdl and these kind of things will also be coming so there is a slight difference this part actually uh, while i was preparing parallelly uh, during my gate exam i got to know this so i was prepare i was trying out to learn each and everything so that is how i i think i confused you <laughs> if there is a lot why yeah, yeah. uh, you actually prepare over there you uh, the fun that i had while i was preparing that was immense i liked it as i was going into this coding and designing everything because uh, the initiative uh, uh, the smallest interest that uh, was created in me was my placements actually my first placement was mentor graphics uh first placement company that came to our campus was mentor graphics i couldn't crack it in the first round itself that was a coding round so there were several uh, topics of uh, electronics itself those were related with the coding i didn't know you need to know computer science background also so then it created a lot of interest in me that was in uh, fourth year starting then everything started in me then all uh, i studied everything vls i started gate started then everything started and your life turned around <laughs> yes so would you like to share means any interview experience means as you said you got offer from iit bombay also and iisc ba- bangalore also which are both are top institutes in india so what are the interview experience the uh in iit bombay uh, i don't know whether i got selected for ra or pa particularly sorry in ra also there are two domains one is a lab and the other is a research particularly i gave the interviews for both one was particularly dealt with the work that i had done in synopsis that is for lab role they asked me a lot of uh, linux terminal questions like uh, Uh, there are certain kind of commands in linux that are common to a- everyone so those kind of questions kept on coming if you talk about the uh, particularly the research work that uh, there was an two interview i told one was for lab the other was for research in research what happened was they asked me about uh, my previous experience of designing an analog circuit i actually told them about my mini project there was a small part of designing a uh temperature dependent fan where there was a small circuitry involving display pair and uh, normal resistors and capacitors but there was a uh, he asked me to upgrade the circuit then what happened was he told me uh, there was an uh, feedback issue over there coming into picture then he told me introduce the feedback concept into it now implement the circuit and he he didn't expect me to completely answer he just checked my pro- flow how i was actually doing that is what he is expecting me to do so i was slowly just slowly step not your answer huh, yes. he was slowly yes. approaching before uh, in the first stage itself uh, he he told that uh, you are completely wrong i thought that over my interview is over then <laughs> my second stage third stage for this slowly slowly kept on going that's how it went uh not even my single interview went on that you give me a question i'll give you the answer on the first stand with you it slowly went on uh, each and every interview that's how it went uh it's not only about iit i got 
uh, several other things too. So that's how so, it went on. Uh, the same is the role for all the analog domain persons. I wanted to work in analog domain. That's why I applied only analog in all the IITs and IASs also. So as your data was very pretty good, means around 500. So you had chance to get into MTech also in top prestigious institutes. So what motivated you to choose PhD over MTech? Because MTech is a uh, small small period course and I, second year also single you get into it. Yeah. Single word, IAS. Only IAS. Yeah, that motivated you to take PhD. See, this none, if you see the research work that I am actually doing i wanted to do this kind of research right now i don't know how it would be in the iits or in the nats also i was getting nat trichopali but i didn't even apply over there and i tried i was getting iit gohati vlsa and i was getting uh, if i waited i was getting so many other also but i i didn't choose them. the only thing is that my core interest analog vlsa that was uh, that I got in IAC. Then why to go for the other things if I had the most important thing that I wanted? Yeah, okay. When you have best option, then why to have that second option? Why to go for the other? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, anything else you would like to share with our viewers? It's your experience. Only Any suggestions? See, uh, when I was actually preparing, you don't know anything about the forthcoming results. The only thing is that give your best shot. Let it be a small amount or big amount. Don't bother about it. Whatever be the final result. The only thing is uh, enjoy the journey and uh, and get interest from everything, whatever you are studying. Just don't leave as if that uh, it's a it's a piece of paper. Yeah. It's it's written by several people, which is coming from our uh, several ancestors. It doesn't come at an uh, fee of cost, right? those people's work had come into these papers. So it's uh, a lot of work and uh, pain is there in those papers and books also. So reading about them and understanding the pain in it, that's the most important thing. So enjoy the process that you are doing. Don't uh, wait for the result that you have. So that's what I can say. Just enjoy the process that you are doing. Thank you, Kodeshwar. It's very, it's really glad to have you here. And uh, I hope our viewers also got motivated <laughs> by your words. So thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for giving me the opportunity.